Shalom fam, it's your sis, that biblical babe, Jelly B, back again, Al Yameen. Guys, I'm talking too much today, but I've been spiritually constipated, backed up with words that I should have released, but uh, forgive me, all right, but I'm here. So yeah, this word is going to, if this is for you, you're going to really, really know it, because I saw specific things about this person. There is a parent, you have three children, two boys, one girl. This message is specifically for you. This is what I saw about one of your sons. They are like an academic. They are intellectual. They're young, um, but he's very intelligent. You see him being a doctor one day. He's just, he gets it when it comes to academic things. He's really good with his school books, studies, things like that. Really, really on top. Your other son is not exactly the same. He's a bit different, but he's a sensitive guy. He's actually a spiritual sponge. And what you have to recognize about this other son that doesn't seem as good when it comes to academic things is that he's a messenger. The Lord is going to use him once he matures to be a leader, a spiritual leader and a messenger. He will speak for the most high. He will do things that uh, releases the word of God to other people, to his peers, to people that you don't even know are linked to his destiny. Never forget that about your son, that you can't see the academic success in him, okay? You also have a daughter. She's the youngest. This is what I saw about her. She's, she's hairy. She's a hairy girl. And there's times where you do her hair, you try, you can camera. But when you do the hair, sometimes it's like, Ugh, you don't really like it. You wish that it was neater. Whoever this is for, you're going to know it's specifically for you because of those specific things about your children that I saw, right? You've got a hairy daughter. She's beautiful. And this is what I saw. She's beautiful. And she has, um, she's hairy. And sometimes you just feel like you can't do her hair justice. she got so much hair and you don't know you know what to do with it. Don't cut it, okay? Don't do it. I don't know what else to tell you, but I like hair. So anyway, yeah. And this is the last thing that I know about your academic son, the one who's really good at like school studies and whatever. He brings your family a lot of joy. So he might bring balance to your other son that might be a little bit more cheeky, a little bit more trying and testing of you. You just don't recognize how big his destiny is. The other son, he brings you a lot of joy though, okay? When he, he makes you proud when he does good work and things like that. Don't forget or neglect the other one because he's a bit different. But let me tell you this. Yes, you are going to move. This is somebody, a mother, who you've needed to move. You want to move. You, you're, you've been waiting for it. You need more space. But you, you have to uh, be prepared for the place you're going to move to. It's not going to be that... <gasps> this answered prayer and you know the Lord did this for me and it was like I just moved to this beautiful big house and everything was done actually when you move it's going to be a place that needs a lot of work you're going to have to be able to see the potential in it and um, this scripture that I put on the screen understanding it is actually going to be very useful for you in this next season of your life that um, you know following a religion, being a religious person, trying to live the right way and doing the right thing. That's good. It's like, you know, living by the law of Moses. Living by the law is great. You know, it brings some level of glory. Even though we know we can never really fulfill it, we'll be like Paul constantly sacrificing for our shortcomings. The person I'm speaking to you, this is how you've seen yourself. Like, you know, Lord, I've done this and I've done that and I've been working like the law. I've been doing this by the law, showing, you know, trying to follow these rules to earn things from the Lord. You're trying to gain glory, trying to progress in your life and the Lord to answer your prayers. But you're doing it the wrong way. You're doing it religiously, like trying to fulfill a law, not recognizing that actually... It was when the law was unveiled by Jesus Christ, by righteousness, by not works of the flesh, trying to receive through the works of our flesh, but through the glory. Mm, help me, Lord. Through the glory that is righteousness in that recognizing that we are impossible creatures. We are not able to, to, to be consistent, to be perfect in the ways that only Jesus Christ was.
First, you have to come to the end of yourself to recognize that there is nothing you can do within yourself to gain glory or blessings or whatever from the Lord. That's not how it works. And you may feel like you've been waiting around and you, you know, expect the Lord to do things in a certain way that's just going to be like, wow, like a genie in a bottle. And he doesn't work like that. He gives you the work in a different way. Not by fulfilling, uh, you know, certain laws or I'm trying to help me, Holy Spirit, to explain what I can hear and see, but I just can't do it. Help me, Lord. What I'm trying to say is that by trying to be perfect by religious standards, as in uh, pretending, knowing that you have certain things going on in your heart, but being nearly a hypocrite, pretending to be something, it might work for those who are on the outside but for the Lord, he sees what's in your heart. He knows when he, he disappoints you, yet you pretend that he hasn't. And he allows you to continue to be disappointed. And this is what I saw, that this person, you're going to move to a house that is it's bigger, but it's not done up in the way that you would hope for. It's not that, you know, modern girl, influencer, aesthetic. It's not that. It's a work in progress because that's how he sees you. You're somebody that you need to take time to see the the vision to put in the work that is not based on pretension uh, being pretentious but um building firm foundations okay but there's somebody you're gonna move house and your expectations are that oh the lord is gonna blow you away and you're gonna move into this nice new modern house or whatever and it's actually gonna be a work in progress but that house once you build it to the standard that you really love, it will be a representation of God in your life, how he's actually grown with you. You will see that you, you do a little bit of decor here and you change this here and the house grows with you because he, you are a house, you are his temple. And right now there is work to be done within your heart, okay? So um, yeah, didn't really go the way that I thought, but thank you, Holy Spirit, because I believe you showed up. But I pray that whoever needs this message, you receive it. And when you receive your home, that is a work in progress. As you work on that home, recognize the Lord is working on you, your home, your temple too. All right, shalom.